Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Alright, today we are going to talk about the bonding and the shapes of a molecule of benzene. Benzene is a liquid aromatic hydrocarbon with the molecular formula of C6H6. And this is how the benzene structure looks like. Alright, now you look here. There are one two, three, four, five, six carbon, okay? And each carbon, because it has one, two, three, it already bonded to three bonds, so it has one bond to hydrogen. So therefore, each carbon will be bonded to only one hydrogen. All right, so this is how a benzene structure looks like. Okay, or in a more precise manner, we always draw the benzene in this form. Benzene is a symmetrical and planar molecule with the bond angle of 120 degree. So why is that 100 and 20 degree because if you look at one carbon every carbon here has one two three sigma bond that means it has three electrons clot or we say that three bonding pair so if it is three bonding pair in AS syllabus we have learned that if it's three bond pair and there's no lone pair over here it should be trigonal planar and it should be 120 degree so that explain why the bond angle is 120 here and each carbon atom's hexagonal ring is sp2 hybridized now if you look at each carbon it has three sigma bond and also one pi bond all right the most important thing is that the electron in the pi bond is said to be delocalized that means right now if you look at this structure okay now in this structure there is double bond okay there are three double bonds and each bond okay each bond has two electrons so this two electron all right these two electrons they are able to move around okay so it will be like this it will be moving here these two electrons will be moving here and these two electrons will be moving here. So then you will see another structure like this. Okay, now you look. When these two electrons moves here, it will be like this. And when these two electrons moves here, it will be like this. And when these two electrons move here, it will be like this. Hence, ended up this structure and this structure is actually equivalent. So, therefore, we will use a circle to represent that the electrons in the ring are constantly moving around. So, therefore, this will be the most precise manner to represent a benzene ring. Alright? And benzene has ring of charge above and below the ring so why is that so because if you look at one structure of benzene ring right each carbon here has one p orbital right each carbon has one p orbital that looks like that now do you remember in as when p orbital overlaps with p orbital it will form the ring of charge above and below okay so this is the electron clot so therefore 
this electrons cloud, okay, when this p orbitals overlaps, it will form an electron clouds above the ring and also below the ring. Hence, you will have situation like this. Okay, this is the benzene ring. And on top of the ring, there is electron clouds. Okay, and below the ring, there is also electron clouds. All right, so electrons cloud are constant moving around above and below the ring. All right, next will be all the C-C bond in the benzene have intermediate bond length between a C double bond and also the C single bond. All right. So what does it mean by that? Now, just now I've mentioned that benzene is a symmetrical structure. All right. But if we are using the usual manner to think about the bond length of benzene, benzene will be looking like this because in AS, we have learned that the double bond is shorter, the single bond is longer. So if this thing happens in the benzene, your benzene structure will have been looked like that. All right, because some of the bond in the double bond is shorter, some of the bond in the single bond is longer. So therefore, it will be a distorted structure. It will not be a symmetrical structure like this. All right, but now, we know that benzene is symmetrical. So to explain this, actually, because of the electrons are constantly moving around, hence the electrons are spread evenly in the benzene ring. So when this thing happens, all right, all the bonds here, all the bonds here, all the CC bonds are equally uh, are having the equal length. Hence, the benzene structure doesn't look like that you will have a new length which is specific to a benzene. That means the benzene, the CC bond in the benzene, so this is a CC bond in the benzene, it has a new CC bond length, all right, which is intermediate bond length between the usual double bond and also the usual single bond, okay? And the bond length are equal. So this bond length and this bond length are equal, unlike this manner, all right? The six points here are very important in order to explain a past year questions in paper four, all right? So out of six points here, you have to memorize five points for the questions of explain the bonding and the shapes of a molecule of benzene, which is worth five points, all right? Now, we are going to discuss another questions regarding about the structure and also the bonding of benzene. Now, let's look at these questions. So, this question is in May, June 1042, questions 5. Questions 5a1 briefly explain why the benzene molecule is planar. It means to say that they would like you to explain why the benzene molecule is in two dimension because planar means two dimension, 2D structure. All right. Now, by referring to what I've taught you just now, every carbon having three bond pair, right? So whenever there is three bonding pair and there's no lone pair, it is 120 degrees. So that explains why the benzene is a planar structure. So I repeat again, you can mention that each carbon has three bonding pair and no lone pair. Hence, it is 120 degree. Or alternatively, you can mention that each carbon are sp2 hybridized. That also explains the structure 
is being 120 degree and it is planar. All right, now let's look at the second question. All right, briefly explain briefly explain why all the carbon carbon born in benzene are the same length. All right, I've mentioned to you that all the C C bond in the benzene have intermediate bond length between the C single bond C and the C double bond C. Okay, the reason why all of them are having the same bond length is that the pi bond electrons are constantly moving around. And because of that, the electrons are evenly distributed. Okay, hence you can see that the C C bond in the benzene is very specific, all right, unlike the usual double bond and the single bond. So over here, you can write it down like this. You can mention that the pi electrons are delocalized, or you can mention that the electrons are evenly distributed all right that's all for today we are going to see you in the next video that's all for today's video if you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell ding dong also if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the March scheme just doesn't seem to help. Genie has got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.